Mm. Aber es didn't see my message. Okay, laser beams mm. by Australix. What did he cook this time? Why? Huh, Marius, do you also have a forced skin? Yes, that's normal here. You cannot. That is. Your no, I know that, but that it's actually like not just Germany skin, but this. Didn't know that's possible. Hey, where do we jump? Huh? Uh, just oh. watch the GPS. It's usually easier on his maps. <laughs> Yeah, watching GPS. Wow, yeah, this is for example creative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I forgot half of everything. What do I do now? Not sure how consistent I can do that. No, that's, as I said, that's the usual reaction that you have on his maps. Very creative, but the consistency is difficult. I mean, it, nothing of it looked like it would be inconsistent by nature, just very hard to do consistent. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's always the thing. Like, It's not necessarily random, it's just... That's, I mean, that's the right kind of difficulty. to do with your evenings when I'm on holiday. Uh, I mean, you can still play all the competitions yourself. You can build maps. Building maps is always a good idea. You are a good man, Marius. I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, I got a s got a bug. That's not good. Actually, my time might already be enough. So there is no qualification. It's just a warm up. Oh, it's just training. Mm. Then maybe I should well, you have to you have to set a time to uh, be registered for the knockout. But that's it. Let's show again 130, 125 FPS here in game Trickmania, but many freezes are still there. Yeah, uh, it's very laggy. Is Hagen in my chat? 
fought that cup of the day ago, who won? But we have a new winner. Pardon Fechter. That's one. And yeah, I was the one. And top 32. Pretty exactly top 32. That's everything I wanted. I have trouble at the end, like I always get a slowdown from the border of the top spell. That was the only part where I had no issues so far. Your first try it worked, since then uh, also in my opinion, we could start now. Arken wanted to check where the legs come from. But now he's not here. Too bad. Yeah, he just need to jump even higher. Yeah, these legs are annoying. It's like playing trick mania with legs is so is annoying. Also, I don't see if I'm slower or faster. Is that just disabled by default? The checkpoint splits? Yeah, that has to do with this plugin. I also don't like that. Because I feel like just going safe instead of doing the flip might not even be like slow. I'm just there so I can check. I like obviously flip as, flip as fast if you get a good flip, but if you get a slow flip. I think Safeway already is faster. Oh, so you mean the barrel roll is a flip, right? Yeah. Oh. Boom! I'm fast. 54.6. Wait, what do you mean 52? Oh wait, that was with, without the flip. But yeah, I guess I'm 
probably not going for the flip. It's so risky. Because you lose so much speed if you get it bad. Ooh. I just tried the no flip, but I struggled with the transition afterwards to actually make it. I was clipping huh? there. The transition into the black left downhill. I did not have issues. Oh, the gear, eh? No, I would have PP'd so hard. Why did this not work? It's not difficult. Yeah, what's this now? That thing with the wood is super cool. Um. <laughs> Marius. Yeah. The mini quarter pipe jump. Yeah. You do not want to standing respawn. So in the starter one? Yeah. Try standing respawn there for like two, three times. Like it takes me five tries to survive it once. I got so it first try. <laughs> I got it yeah, first okay. try. But barely. No. Pretty easy. Okay. I'm bad then. 
Only, only have to standing respawn. Otherwise, we seem to be really good here. We start. Oh, good luck. The gear is an issue for me. It's a safe way. Also the GPS is overjumping the whole penalty quest and I'm really struggling to get that. Hmm. I mean you can do what you want. <laughs> I mean, you said Safeway seems good, so I really want to do it. But I, so far, I don't get the part afterwards nicely. I, For I, me, it's good. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, probably won't. Like you go over the boost, or basically take it full speed from then on. Just the entry onto the boost is a bit scary because I don't want to fly off on the right side. Yeah, it's just that I have gear changes after. Okay, the that's gear change way. I had for the first time as well now. But before I didn't, so I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just scared of the flip, you know? And I lost like one second only with that, so for me that's. Worth it on this the weird map. order that people went into danger there. <laughs> yeah. It's also scary. Also, there is this uh, front flip, back flip, back flip in the end. And yeah. uh, I want to release before that so that I don't jump too high. But sometimes I don't make it then. Even though I kind of know how much I can release, but there is still a randomness on how far in front the car will jump. So far, I didn't have issues with that. Now that you mentioned it, I probably will start having issues. How are you doing it? Are you just uh, sli slightly releasing or are you breaking? No, I just start. I literally start releasing once you hit the quarter pipe, and relatively quickly, I just go back on acceleration again. Then okay, again, yeah, I, feel I tried like... to. Uh make the release before the quarter pipe and then already full speed on the quarter pipe again. No, I'm not trying that. Okay. I only need a safe approach because the respawn, you don't want to respawn that. Now I could afford that, but it's a long respawn in comparison, so... I mean, that's what the GPS as well did. Like, GPS started releasing exactly when hitting the quarter pipe, kinda. What 
position do you have here? A uh, bad run, 41st. Okay. But usually, with a safe way, then in the checkpoint. Yeah, I'm usually around two seconds behind. I don't know the position I didn't look at. Okay. Could have released a bit more. I mean, it's still a 56. It's fine. Imagine this as track of the day would is, actually be fun. Is your camera also always like not following a car but somehow outside of the map? Yeah, yeah, just following all. But cars are off. Like ghosts. Yeah, but I don't see here where, where you can switch between follow all and the rest. Like where that button is. Hmm. Same. Maybe it's somewhere else. What's just force with the mode? I don't know. Weren't there even hot keys for things like follow all and so on with the UV? Probably. I'm always in the mid 20s here. I'm 17. 18th now. <laughs> okay. I mean, that was a good round now for me. Okay, and I clipped the end, but still ninth. Tenth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we are pretty similar <laughs> then. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I lose everything without, like, for not going for the flip, but I'm um, happy about that. I mean, we can do this for quite a long time, but there will be some moment where I think you might have to go for the flip to not end up in danger zone. Or. Or when you're then in danger zone against like four, well, three other players, or also in the danger zone when you are against seven other players, like, it'll be interesting to see if that's still enough to go for the save. Yeah, I will risk it. I already made up my mind. Like, I'm gonna. Oh, so just you will risk it to save it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will exactly. risk it the safe way. Yeah. I just don't have any trust in my ability to get that flip good. Like maybe if I end up in like top four or some stupid shit like that, maybe then I'm I'm also, an idiot in and the just top, go for it. If you're in the top four round and you are safe, because you have the safe status, then you definitely have to go for it. Yeah. Because yeah, the winner of that top four round is in the final. When you save anyway, then it would be stupid to not go for it. But I meant when I like play against only players like Yannix or left that are obviously faster than me if I don't go for it. But it's worth the risk of failing it. I mean, look at those times. Yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> yeah, to be honest, there is not much on this track where you can gain or lose time. It's more about just making it. You don't really have turns. <laughs> it's basically yeah. all in the full speed transitions, kind of. I mean, the first wall ride jump, the quarter pipe jump is definitely something you can lose or gain a lot of time. The flip. Yeah, the rest, not really. Three B2 players. B2 always takes part with a lot of players here. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna play cups like these, probably cooler if you play with a group, unless you're streaming. Oh, 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 oh. That was bad. The risk now. No, I don't. Uh oh. I had such a bad round. Huh? Oh, oh. Okay. Are you still over <laughs> the white line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. 40 seconds. I wanted to take the last quarter by jump, like super safe, but you can't jump off to the top. No, I was also hitting this in the end of the season once. <laughs> yeah, first time I hit that now. I use cam 3 in the jump. I also use cam 3 in the whole part after the wood. Yeah, yeah. For all the transitions for there. Ah, oh, not that. Just for a bit. I switch back. Yeah, I mean, right now it's not really difficult to survive technically. I currently have the luck. So that's more ironic. Uh, whenever I have for the first time a danger zone appearance, then all the good players are in the same moment also in the danger zone with me. Like I have the Skandir, Yannex. I was posting in OK Boys, uh, the OK Boys uh, Discord once. <laughs> As a clip. Or I went into the danger zone in my. Also there were then 8 players. But those eight players were Skandir, Yannex, Hazard, Artis, Ice, and that was in, in top 25, yeah. <laughs> there were so many other players. <laughs> but we all made it into the same one. It was crazy. I mean, you can't just all survive, right? No, only half of us will survive. Okay, so it's, I kind of work. So. Only half of Danger Zone is surviving. Yeah, exactly. Only the top half of the people that are in Danger Zone. So okay. some good players had to be knocked out in that round. <laughs> so it's a very big yeah, luck thing scary. against who you are in the Danger Zone. Because Gandhi, for example, last week, uh, or not last week, but two weeks ago when I won, he was in the Danger Zone uh, every third round on average. Like he just risked it. And either he was first or he was ending in danger zone, but when he was in danger zone, he got first afterwards. So, no, and uh, that is of course super dangerous. He was so often then together with other players in the danger zone, and those had then basically no chance for this one spot already. <laughs> and yeah, the good thing for me was that the first round where I went into danger zone 
was the top three round. I somehow stood out of it until then. <laughs> and yeah, and by that time Scandi was in just out. I mean, let's see how this goes. Like at the beginning, I thought I was driving super well, but this is still taking so long. Like sure. it doesn't really matter what I do right now, basically. Like even if I have a bad round, it's still like super safe. Also, I had the double respawn in the checkpoint, <laughs> and I failed it twice before I finally made it. Yeah. Yeah, 16 seconds is very unlikely now. Oh, it's already at 15. No, maybe. The ending is quite easy. Oh no. I'm the first one <laughs> to be in danger. And look who's with me, Ice already. Uh. Yeah. But at this point, it should be doable. <sighs> Tommy is, of course, also there. Saturate, Mana, Kiraj, Centrian, Dugi. Na gut. That should be doable. Yeah, normally, yes. I'll save this now a bit. I don't have the oh, same. I save mistake. this every single round. I'm driving the way I imagine you drive every single cup of the day. Except the parts where I'm confident. Like the parts where I'm confident I just do. But the rest is so bad. Dude, it was close. I was actually in red, even though I drove a 55. That is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, no. Also, Mana is in on 10th place. He was. And 13th place is out. 13th place is out. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, and, and you know, if you, get, if you get knocked out here, yeah, do you know what your real position in the cup is? You see it now, what Saturate got. Uh, 40 mm. your thirty your 41st then. If, if you get 13th yeah. here and you are out, then your official position is 41st. That's always so confusing because you feel like you don't deserve that position. Like, <laughs> like, like even yeah. in the round that put me into danger zone, I was better than 41st. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that's just how the system works, right? Yeah, exactly. But this is why I say, you, at, at first glance you would think that it is a fairer system than a normal knockout. Because in a normal knockout, that's just one bad round and you're out. No? So you think, okay, at least I have then a second chance. <laughs> but but I don't think that it is much fairer. <laughs> because, it really depends, <laughs> because it really depends on how difficult is that danger zone round that you get? I like it though. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, this looks very exciting, definitely. I kind of would want to host something with this as well. Like Rambo, you're regular. That's not RPG. And maybe it doesn't take this long. Like, it's kind of long. I mean, you have to believe that all of us will easily into safe zone for the next round. 
Yeah, we were far away from getting danger zone again. <laughs> and still people of us had to get knocked out there. It's actually crazy. But I think that was also very stupidly Ooh, good danger zone. Yeah, Yannix and Friedwolf as well, okay. And was there also ice? I don't think so. Ah, was I think just barely making it. What is that side walls tilt? No. Can get screwed over quite easily. Also Yannix is through, Friedwolf is through, Golio and Avra. Seacoop and Didi. Oh, then the big name's out. Oh, <laughs> B2! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three people. Two weeks ago, there was also one danger zone where four of them no got knocked out and they were all after each other in the positions. And in the next round there was even another one coming, so in the scoreboard they had then five B2s after each other. And that was also at this point of the knocker where there are still a lot of players. Actually, more okay boys should play this here. I mean, Granadi literally complained about two easy maps. He would have loved this. I mean, obviously RPG is gonna be diff more difficult, but still, still kind of a race. Yeah, RPG. and that's also one of these weekly cups where you really have good opponents. Yeah, very good opponents. It's kind of getting difficult. Like it's just so scary. So many rounds. Like just and one mistake could be your last already because if you get good opponents it's way too difficult could or could be yeah without a flip i mean i don't think that i'm losing a lot in the rest of the track but without a flip always like just barely making top 10 and then danger zone yeah, like, let's I'm see ninth. oh wait this was <laughs> a really bad danger zone <laughs> they, they were actually placed pretty poorly in comparison to earlier Redwolf again. Also some of the players that just survived are again in the danger zone now. Something that didn't happen in our danger zone. Or my danger yeah. zone. Yeah, I literally lost 0.8 because of going safe. Eh? Okay, maybe a bit more because of less speed as well. But I checked this round. Oh. Might be dangerous zone for me. It's a good round so far. Uh, I was unlucky. I didn't I'm not make getting the end now. I didn't make it over the border. 
just like I needed a pixel more on my front, we would have touched the reactor boost, but I was stuck on the border there. No, oh, but you're not in the danger of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you? I don't I see am. you. Ah, okay. It doesn't yeah, display that... all. It doesn't yeah, show yeah. all places. Ice. Sponge. Sponge. Morphe. Dark. Oh, dark. Ah. Ooh. I will go safe way. Not an easy one. It, it, it is not safe that it will be enough with a safe. Ah. So Morpheo is definitely in front. Was easy actually. <laughs> yeah. I kind of have the feeling on this map the first time I go in danger zone, I'm gonna go out. The first time is also always the most difficult one. Like, I, I had some uh, knockouts where I was actually going th pace wise through many danger zones. And the first one is always the most nerve wracking, but when you survive and you immediately stay in danger zone, then you feel no pressure in the second one. You just try yeah, normal. Yeah, that is and, fine. Yeah, and, and then others have the pressure though, and you just survive again because you just drive your runs as if it was a normal knockout. <laughs> but they can, of course, also be super unlucky, it's always. You always have fear of, of, of the very first one. It's like some psychological thing with this game mode. And confirm, I'm scared of the first one. I mean, kinda you can drive it as if it was just one knockout, and the one knockout is if you get into the danger zone. Uh, you try to stay out of it as long as possible and drive it, like accordingly. Yeah, in theory. <laughs> of people failed there. And Scandia. Yeah, that was weird. Scandia is under the line. I can get fourth without... Oh, the Annex as well. Now we have... Uh... Oh god, oh god. Yeah, yeah. Fredwolf also again. But this is a difficult sponge. The Annex, Fredwolf, Scandia. <laughs> oh, and it's only, only those four, four, so two of them will be knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good thing that you <laughs> you're safe this one. It would have been easier for all of them if four more players would have been in the danger zone. Yeah. Definitely wrong round to crash. Sure. Yannick is going to be a second. Yannick seems to be out in Sponge as well. Friedwolf secured himself. Okay, third and fifth. Yeah, Scandia feels no pressure. No? He's just going for it. 
Yeah, yeah, so some of these players are actually also training the map and take into account that they will go into the danger zone, but they just respawn certain sections and try to learn. I think you still have to finish. I, th I think a full DNF might knock you out completely. I'm, I'm not sure, like it always understood it like this, but I don't want to test it, of course. <laughs> But I remember when we played this uh, format for the first time, he was doing those training runs all the time in the beginning. I mean, if you can do it, it sounds smart. Always in the flip, I make my interface on and check. And then I saw now, for example, okay, it's an easy round, but imagine I jump too low in the flip and don't make it while I'm seeing that it's too easy. <laughs> yeah, it's that easy. Is, I'm just always going for the same line there. Like I'm always pull, kind of pushing it. Why does my horn keep saying Alan? Yeah, because it's. It's basically same as the skin, also the horn is just given. It's forced. And I think I, yeah, two weeks ago, I was actually asking them what the uh, story behind the horn is. But I forgot what I said. Good end, good end. Oh, the spread, no. Uh, oh, already oh, in the oh, beginning, is... already in the beginning, it showed that we might need top five here to stay outside of it. Oh no, Viscantia, Viscantia. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> obviously. Hmm. Why well, go flip now? Oh, come on. Yeah, I told you. You can already save Marius. I almost didn't make it. I'm so dumb, why do I actually <laughs> why do I actually make a 360 into the finish? <laughs> I mean it was still about getting uh, into the safe zone. I completely forgot that. Uh, so obvious man. First time I don't make the jump. Like I was the last one that never was in the danger zone. In immediately go out. Yeah. Interestingly, you know why I went out because I got a small clip at the I got a small clip here that lost me point four at the beginning at the beginning. Otherwise I would have been in. 
Oh Gott. Yeah, and now it's two only. Of course, the third. Oh. Yeah. That's also how I yeah. could actually stay outside of it. Uh, interestingly, it with a plugin, but you probably saw that now, uh, you can see how many danger zones every player had on top. Yeah, that's why that's why I'm saying I was yeah, the yeah. last one with, with zero danger zones. Everyone already had at least one. Man, I was so consistent as well. That's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, called it. Also, against Speed Surf, I will keep the safe line. He didn't really look too consistent so far. Of course, he only needs one good round now, but. Pretty good start, but it's only kids one second. Yeah, that was all shit. Yeah, he's surviving it as well. Yeah, I saw he had some really bad laps already. It's still, a decent, it's still a decent time. 55-0. Of course, we were able to do 54. What is your PB? Uh, 54? It doesn't show me, actually. Yeah, you can click on it. I just check. Oh, yeah, uh, you were there. 54 uh, 9 yeah. But we cannot really go much faster. And he was beating that. Ah, but the flip is not that much. Like, it's not only the flip. Like, the flip itself that we don't go for is just one second. Yeah, okay. At least I think so. If you get it... If you, I mean, you can also get both... You can get both good or bad. Like, I fully overjumped the penalty without issues going safely. Ah, Dazzle got the same thing that I got. It was my fault. I mean, I got also a super unsmooth landing there now on my run, then it was completely over to catch something up. That's Gandia, 51.7. They are driving insane times. <laughs> well, hear me. Uh, okay, the winner of this round will be in the grand final. And one of Speed Surf and Seafil is gonna get knocked out. Landing for speed sir. Still behind. We have Dark not making it, but he of course will survive this round. Scandia seems to be in the grand final. Ooh. Oh my god, Seafil. And Speed Surf has no speed, he actually clipped. Oh, but that's enough. <laughs> that was lucky for Speed Surf. 
I mean, we I also saw such runs by players already that were danger zone, danger zone, danger zone, danger zone. But every time the one opponent that they get makes a mistake. <laughs> like whoever it is that they get, mistake. Yeah, and this is how Speedstaff goes into the grand final. And then it only needs Skandir to make a mistake. Okay, uh, wait. Speedstaff? Boy, he has also shit gear. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, now it's close again. But he's still ahead. <laughs> like, eventually he survives it by a tent. <laughs> Oh, dog's not gonna oh make that. my god. Yeah. If Speed Self wins this, and Scandia was already in the danger zone, so he already failed as well. If Speed Self wins this, it's just such a lucky win. But thanks <laughs> to god. the format, no? Yeah, well, that's how it goes. Same can happen in Cup of the Day, where you just get orange, even with a mistake, or get saved by someone else with a mistake. You know, it's technically maybe more unfair, this format, but it's unfair in a good way, you know? Like, you can't blame the system for it. It's still your fault. So it's both it's both unfair in the interesting way, but at the same time, you can't really blame it for it. Uh, yes, uh... Kinda like that. Firestorm, there is, uh... More cups. Also right now, right after this. Oh, Speedself having a good start, but... Gandhya obviously being yeah, He's so consistent in this jump. Like, look how far he jumps here. <laughs> Every time. Like, yeah. how can you be so consistent with this flip? That's so crazy. So he only has to make, make it through. That was close. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, oh, he's risking it so hard. Man, Gandhya. <laughs> <laughs> that was also a good time. Yeah. Good, good run by Speedself as well. Yeah, nice boy. It's just difficult against Scandia without a mistake. Hagen, you're too late uh, to, to check here the legs. But they actually always get better. Also now in the ending I didn't have that many issues anymore. 